Hey, my name is Tiara. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm basically going to be explaining how I color my sketches, so my drawing process for faces. So starting off, I usually choose a color that's not too muddy or too saturated or desaturated, and I use that as a base. Sometimes I'll go ahead and use the lasso tool to fill everything in, or like here, I'll just color it in manually. Next, I go ahead and I create a clipping mask layer above that, and that's usually where I do all my rendering and shading. And the color that I chose was the same color underneath for the base layer, but I just made it more saturated and darker. As for where I place the shading, it depends on the light source, but generally speaking, I shade where the light would not hit on the face. So again, depending on where the light source is, but mainly, for example, underneath the jaw, underneath the nose, the lips, and around the eyes and perimeter of the face. Next, I choose a reddish orangish color for the upper lip and for the bottom lip, because I'm doing two-tone lips, I choose the same color but more so in a pink shade. And then I add a little bit underneath the top. From there to shade the bottom lip, I'll grab the same pink shade and make sure it's more saturated and shade it that way. And for the eyes, I grab a gray blue color and I trace the eye with the lasso tool and then I color drop it. Next for the irises, I choose a chocolate brown color and just fill those in. Next, I'm going ahead and choosing a ivory white color for the teeth because teeth are not naturally bright white. And the same thing with eyes, they're not naturally bright white. From there, I'm adding in some red tones on the face just to make sure, just to add some color to the face and make it look like the skin is alive. Now I'm going ahead and adding in a darker brown shade, a little bit more on the red side, and just contouring and defining around the face. Here I'm lightening the sketch so I can see what I'm doing. And now I'm blending and figuring out where I want to define certain areas on the face. That's essentially what this whole process is, is kind of laying down colors, seeing if you like it, blending it out, and then re-adding down colors again. Now I'm going ahead and adding and using the lasso tool to outline the hair in the front, just to give it more of a defined shape instead of coloring it in with just the brush tool. I feel like it just brings more interest to the face because there's sharp lines there. So that's what I did and I also did it around different parts of the hair as well. But for the majority, I just fill the hair in with a regular flat brush. And then for the hairline, I blend that out. And then I recolor it in the way, the way I think I want it to look. The easiest way to portray a hairline is definitely with a gradient. Now I'm doing the eyebrows. I end up redoing the eyebrows because I didn't like how thick I made the eyebrow hairs. So I go back in with a thinner brush and I go ahead and make the lines over again later on in the sketch. I also use this brush to do the eyelashes as well. 
and the baby hairs. Doing baby hairs, I just had to. I feel like they just add a little extra something. And now I'm going ahead and finishing off the ends of the locks and just adding little curls. Honestly, because I just thought it looked cute. Here I'm defining the hairline, more baby hairs. And now I'm back on the clipping mask layer and I'm deepening the eyes and just darkening certain areas. I gradually darken things because it just helps me see where I want my shading to be, how dark I want my shading to be. Now I'm adding a caramel color for the irises just for a little extra light in the eyes. And then on a separate multiply layer, I like to use blue as the shadow for underneath the eyelids. Blue or purple. Next, we're highlighting the lips and blending things out. Now I'm finally adding in some skin highlights. I usually add highlights in when I'm feeling a little bit more confident with where the direction of the drawing is going. Now some more contouring, highlighting. And I really just bounce around until I feel like I like where things are going. Next, some blush. And then here, like I said, I'm redoing the eyebrows right now. And I'm just doing the eyebrows and baby hairs and all the fine hairs just with just a regular sketch brush, a soft sketch brush. Now I'm back highlighting again. It's really a process of just, again, blending things out adding things back in, blending things out until you're happy with the product. And because of that, sometimes I don't really have a definitive way of explaining how I draw or color things because some of it is just subjective and kind of more up to your preference. I'm darkening lips on the side, inside the mouth, and then here I'm doing the jewelry. I choose like a nice gold color that I feel like matched her skin tone a little bit better than some of the other like yellows that I was thinking about. I feel like for this drawing, I didn't add as much detail as I could have, like with the highlights or how harsh the shadows are but sometimes i like to keep it a little bit more simple just to enjoy the process if that makes sense i really do like how this drawing turned out i just feel like it came a little bit more effortlessly now i'm adding some eye highlights i usually use bright white for eye highlights at the end of the drawing and now i'm adding lip highlights using a brighter pink color I just feel like that looks a little bit better. And I'm going ahead and adding in some more eyelashes just for a little bit more contrast. And because I love eyelashes. <laughs> now I'm adding a shadow around the nose and I'm gonna add one underneath the jaw. I usually use a cool tone color for this. So like cool tone being purple or like a blue or bluish purple. little cheek highlight there. I feel like I could definitely go back in and darken some of these shadows and bring up some of the highlights on the face just to make the face pop a little bit more, but it's okay. 
darkening the nose underneath here. Highlighting the forehead. And now I'm redefining the ear. I really don't like drawing ears, but people have ears, so. <laughs> and now I add a shadow on the teeth. And here we are finally at the hair. So I take a darker version of that brown and I outline her locks um, to create more definition and so you can see them better. And I just do that around the painting. And then I take a lighter version of that color and then I highlight the locks. And then I go back in again with a darker color to redefine the edges. Now I'm adding in a few more baby hairs just at the top, none too crazy. And then I turn it so you guys can kind of see more of what I see. I added some highlights on the jewelry using the same yellow color and then the tear ducts, which are the same color as the bottom lip. So yeah, this is pretty much how I color everything, but I hope this was helpful or interesting in some way. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like or subscribing. Oh so yeah, thank you for watching.